Hey guys, what's up? Lewin here at GarageBand and beyond. Today, it's gonna be a very quick video because there's really not much to say on the topic, but this is for people out there who are having a, like a very weird problem with GarageBand. There are several weird problems that will occasionally pop up in GarageBand 10, and what I'm gonna tell you fixes all of those things in one full swoop. And that is basically delete GarageBand and then reinstall it off of the App Store at iTunes. Um, there, I can't tell you how many times I've had to do that personally. Uh, it, it just, you know, it happens. Something like for once, like one time my automation stopped working completely. Another time I just couldn't get like the groove matching thing to work. And um, I've just received several emails and like all these like weird problems. Like, wow, I have no idea. Try this, try deleting it and reinstalling it. Um, and everybody has reported it works, it works, it works. And I've been giving this piece of advice for a couple of years now. So I'm going to just share it here on the channel. Now, one thing you're wondering, I'm sure is, do you lose anything? Answer is no. It is a completely painless process. You delete it. Uh, and then you reinstall it. I will add that if you have something like Clean My Mac, which is an uh, application for you know just general Macintosh maintenance, which I really like and uh, use pretty often, like once a week at least, um, that does a good job. I like to delete GarageBand with that because it re uh, it goes through and reads you know through your hard drive and make sure that it gets everything. Um, but even without that, you can just click, drag it to the garbage, and it should do its thing anyway. Uh, reinstall it. And, and it should all just start working again with no need to like put in serial numbers or anything. You don't lose anything except the problem. That's what's so awesome about it, okay? So that's the whole video. Oh my gosh, super quick, um, but I think a pretty powerful little tip there for a lot of you. Um, I've needed to make a new troubleshooting video for GarageBand 10, um, and this is the short answer. Delete it, reinstall it, okay? So, oh, if you're wondering what my shirt says, just in case I like this shirt. Although it did shrink a little bit in the washer or in the dryer, I'm noticing now. Anyway, you guys have a great weekend uh, or have a great week wherever we are in the week when you watch us and um, subscribe. Find me on Patreon if you'd like to support the channel because I really do need the support over there. GarageBand and Beyond loves you. Have a great time. Talk to you soon. Peace.